I got that dreaded text from Kyle where she said she was sick, and I was like, no, I don't want to do a show without Kyle. No, God, no. But she comes walking in with yeah, a bright yeah, smile, yeah. happy I face. Am. I mean, you even did your hair differently. Right? It looks cute. Because I didn't wash it. Oh. <laughs> do you just feel awesome right now? Do you feel awesome? I don't. You look great. But I do because I'm here. Like, yeah. 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 That's what I'm talking about. You can jump on the air with us, 877-937-1047. Peyton was her three-year anniversary of dating, of being boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm-hmm. How was that? What you guys do? You know, honestly, it was kind of chill. We didn't really do anything. So we were going to go do dinner last night, and I got home, and I made Kadeem take off work because I was like, our work schedules are so different. If you don't take off work, we're not going to be able to see each other. So he took one for the team. Took off a day of work. We went for lunch instead of dinner, and then we went to the movies, and we saw Super Mario Bro movie, and it is so good. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that movie. I'm just like, Kyle, when is it streaming? Because it will be on repeat in my house every single day. That movie is so good. Wow. I loved it. Donkey really Kong good. stole the show. He's my favorite. <laughs> he was good. It was funny because I was wondering how like Seth Rogen was going to pull it off, and he totally does. Oh, my gosh. He crushed it. He was so funny like i literally caught myself laughing out loud every time donkey kong said something <laughs> so you went to lunch a and a movie yep, and what good. happened after the movie mm, nothing we went home <laughs> oh, kadeem's little brother christian's in town so he kind of was hanging out with us the whole day too so oh that's not really, as romantic yeah then. we didn't really like do anything it was fine though it was fun well it's a it's a three-year <laughs> dating anniversary you know they get a little bit more serious as you get move along in your relationship i think so too mm-hmm. like my i know my <laughs> anniversary my our first date is july 2nd and I know that because, A, she brought it up all the time. And every July 2nd, she goes, do you know what happened today? And we went to a baseball game. And and I remember that. So it's like, we don't celebrate it, though. But, oh, you yeah. don't? Like, July 2nd, you don't go, let's go on a date. No. To a we baseball should. game. I was working, and I took her to the baseball game. It was our first date. I got to go to the thing. You want to come with me? She's like, yeah, sure. I'm like, you do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't see you bringing that up as like a thing to do every year. I on had your anniversary. to go. It was for work. Was like, like, let's go to another baseball game because yeah. that's what we did on our first. I can't see you doing God, that. God no. Um, <laughs> speaking of Blake, my wife. So I, I've told you guys how ever since uh, her and I've been together, she wants me to kiss her goodbye when I leave the house, right? And she, it's not because she loves me. It's because she read somewhere that you make ten percent more money if you kissed your spouse goodbye. So every morning, since we've been together, I kiss her goodbye. And every once in a while, you know, I wake her up, you know, and she, I don't wake, I don't say wake up, but my kiss wakes her up, right? So this, and sometimes, you know, when you're sleeping, you say stupid stuff because you're in a dream. Mm-hmm. So I kissed her goodbye today on the cheek and she goes, oh, oh, I was on the golf course talking to Heather al Musaid or what's her name? Heather. <laughs> Heather al Musa. Heather al Musa. <laughs> she goes, I was on the golf course talking to Heather al Musa. I'm like. Okay. <laughs> like, Boy, she's got selling sunset on the brain. Yeah. Man, uh, she can't wait till Friday. That's when the new season comes out. <laughs> Does it really? Yeah. She must have read something or saw something before bed last night, and that must have been in her brain. But I also thought, after I stepped back, I was like, that's good that that's what she dreams about. Like, I dream, I have all kinds of stressful dreams, you know? Yeah. But she's like, oh, it was a go-. And she doesn't, play, she doesn't golf, so it's not like she was golfing on the golf course. She was on the golf course talking to Heather al Mususa. <laughs> yeah, she got a nice setting. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> and how's married life with you, Richard? Now you're two and a half months married? Yeah, it's uh, good. It's good. It's fun. Um, we, uh, we, we have a really good time. Um, I think that the... Glaring thing is that Stacy's starting to realize that she married somebody that is not as smart as she is. She's mm. a very smart person. You know, I've told you guys before, my wife has her master's degree in theology and then a fun second master's degree in English with an emphasis on writing. So I heard her talking to one of her friends asking about marriage. She said, it's so great. I think so hard all day. And then I come home to Richard and I don't have to think at all. I'm like, did she just call me stupid? I think she called me stupid. In this room, I'm kind of (laughs) smart. Just in this room. What about, (laughs) how is it because you were uh, alone for so long, living alone? How's the TV watching world? I don't know what to do because like when I, when I first got separated and divorced, it was the birth of, of streaming. So since then, my TV in my Netflix and everything, my accounts, I've got an account for my kids, and then I've got my little account, uh, and, and I've had it to myself, but she watches some of the same shows, my wife does, that I do, and then 
not some of the same shows. So when you go back to watch a show and you hit resume, it's on all kinds of different episodes. I don't, <laughs> and I made her own little thing that she can click on, but she still clicks on mine. Hmm. So I don't know what to do. What is the the etiquette for that? Divorce? Are, <laughs> no, you say use your own profile. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I. Use your own that's what I do. <laughs> She's not using her own profile, and I've gently suggested, like, hey, I made you. Like, you've got a cool cartoon with your name that says Stacy, and then Audrey's got hers that says hers. So that way, when Audrey's watching, you know, I don't know what she's watching, Boy Meets Girl and Fire, Fire, Firefly Lane, it's all there. But she watches the same shows I do, but she watches them out of order. So when I go to watch Succession or The the Last Thing He Told Me, they're all on different episodes. I don't know where I left off. I don't, <laughs> and we're not watching things at the same time because she is like Kyle. She watches in the morning when she puts that on her makeup. Out. I let my, my wife now knows uh, watching TV for me is my job, and I don't like every once in a while I get stuck watching a show with her at the same time and it's miserable because she has she doesn't care about TV unless it's the Al Musafa people <laughs> selling so, yeah, so, but it's like so just last night my kids have friends over and they're all watching the Celtics heat game I'm the dad but I'm like I'm gonna go upstairs and watch Ted Lasso because the new Ted Lasso came out right so I go upstairs and I watch the Ted Lasso thing and then she comes upstairs and she's like what are you, what's going on like, I'm watching Ted Lasso and she goes the Heat won it was such a great game it was such I'm like oh yeah I'm, I'm watching Ted Lasso and, this is, and she's like, like and I tell her hey I gotta talk about this tomorrow it's not like we got a whole Ted Lasso break planned on the no. show today just this right here just right here just right here <laughs> which did anyone watch Ted Lasso no. I haven't seen it yet